Okay, Nolan, um, first camp with the Rockies. Um, you spent a lot of time with these guys in the off season. What have you learned about the Colorado Rockies? Yeah, I mean, I've got to know a lot of good guys um, coming out here, spending some time around the uh, the veterans that have been in town for, for a little while. It's been really nice for me to uh, to get to know them and just start to pick their brain on, on some things. So it's been great. You got a little bit of opportunity with the Guardians last year. What did you learn at the Major League level? Yeah, I mean, I think that your first taste up there is definitely going to be uh, different, and it kind of makes you hungrier to, to get back up there. Um, I learned a lot about myself, my, my swing and everything, so kind of had, had a full off season to go in and, and work on some things and clean up things, and so I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, you were with the Guardians your entire career, then all of a sudden you get traded. I think you were in Europe at the time, actually. Um, after processing it, how much of an opportunity do you feel this is? Yeah, I mean, I think any anything new is, is, is an exciting opportunity. Um, obviously, being with the Guardians for seven years, I met a, met a lot of great people and have lifelong friendships over there. But I think I think it's a new opportunity from baseball, from friendships, all those. There's a ton of opportunities here, so I'm, I'm really excited. Can you take us through the details of how you found out you're traded and kind of your immediate reaction there? Yeah, I was actually I was it was 2:30 in the morning. I was in Spain and I uh, got a couple calls from my mom and my my agent. Um, and then finally answered and was told that I was traded over to the Rockies. Um, I was I was excited, but I was also sad. I mean, like I said, I was with the Guardians for seven years, um, so created a lot of lifelong friendships over there and met a lot of great people, um, but definitely excited for, for a new, fresh opportunity. Did the Guardians tell your mom or she was um, No, so they, I, think they, I think my agent told my mom um, because I wasn't answering. Um, so I think I think they ended up telling my mom was like we have to get in contact with him. So, yeah. Um, so then, how long have you been down here training? I got out here uh, January first, so I've been out here for about a little over a month. And who are some of the players that you've you know, you know from? Um, yeah, so I mean, there's been a, a bunch of guys out here. I mean, I've I've known some of these guys. I got to work out last year um, in the off season with some of them. Um, but just hanging out around guys like Ryan McMahon. I mean, I think he's the guy that kind of stands out to me because he's such a he's such a good leader a natural leader um, so just to kind of be able to hang out with him the past month month and a half and and learn from him and talk swings in the cage and take ground balls with him at third base um, it's been a, it's been really cool for me I don't really have an answer to that I don't know yeah I, I, uh, I want to play I want to help the team win um, and I'm willing to play anywhere you grew up very much an infielder, um, but as you were heading to the majors, Guardians kind of introduced outfield to you. When they did that, what was your immediate reaction? I was excited for the opportunity. I mean, I think that to, to get an opportunity to play in the big leagues is what I've always dreamed of. Um, so when they asked me to play right field for, for an opportunity in the big leagues, it was like an, it was a great opportunity for me. So I was excited. Um, and. I think it's always fun to try different positions. Like outfielders love coming in, taking ground balls. Infielders love going out there and trying to rob homers. So it was fun for me. It's been exciting to, to go out there and, and learn new things and learn the new position. Yeah, you were with the second team that already had an established third baseman. So um, you, you had to move around a bit. What, one other question, just to kind of backtrack a bit. How comfortable are you at first base? Yeah, I'm, I've taken ground balls there for over two years now. Um, so I think it's very similar to third base, um, just opposite corner. Um, so I definitely think first base is something I could play as well. And the other thing, you're competing in camp for a job, obviously with Randall Grichik not being available at the start of the season. Um, does that open up more for you, or do you um, tr try to just put your head down and not think about other situations? Yeah, I mean, I love Gritch. He's a guy that's been here um, the whole time. I got to know Gritch last year as well, um, so hoping for a speedy recovery for him. and. I'm just going to go out and have fun. Whatever happens, happens. I remember where you guys all trained last year, but I can't remember the name. Where we trained? Yeah. Uh, Helix. Yeah. 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 Thank you. yeah. So we trained there. Got to know a lot of the guys. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You still train there? Uh, no, I was here the, the whole off season at the complex. Okay. Good. So. Thank you. Yep.